Hi, my name is Cameron and welcome to my channel. If you found me from my jujitsu videos, thank you for subscribing and liking my videos. I really appreciate it. Sometimes I like to share about my experiences or about my lifestyle and what I have gone through so far in my life. This video will be one of those. So if you like this kind of content, hit that subscribe button and like this video. As you can tell from the title of this video, I am going to be sharing some lessons that I've learned from my breakup. This was my first intimate relationship and it was sweet and fun in the beginning, but it was short-lived. How did it end, you may ask? Well, he ghosted me. He said he would call me, you know, even though we both know this relationship wasn't going to last long. I thought we had a clear understanding that we will be honest with each other. He said he would call me. He didn't. He just up and left, so yeah. I started obsessing over the whys. Why did he leave? Why didn't he read my text? Why didn't he call me like he said he would? I went down this rabbit hole on the internet googling why people ghost their partners or ghost the person that they were seeing. I even went on Reddit, Quora, Google, <laughs> almost reading every single thing about why people do this, why he did it why he did this to me <laughs> it sucked this went on for days then i came to a realization that this is done so i deleted his number and i deleted all the messages that we had it sucked because i liked this guy that i kind of ignored my intuition i kind of ignored a few red flags at the same time i'm stubborn i cherished every moment i had with this person however he became distant i made excuses for him saying like he's busy or he's got a lot on his mind i already knew that this relationship was coming to an end but I wanted to hold on to him as long as I can and therefore I ignored my gut feelings, I ignored my intuition. One of the best things that I do is meditate. So I meditated almost every night to unload all the emotional and mental stress that I was getting from thinking about this guy. I meditated for about a week just to release my thoughts of him. On one of those nights, I had a glimpse of his face while I was meditating. And as I saw his face, I said, I forgive you. And I released all emotions, all, all of it. I released all of it. It felt powerful and freeing. I freed myself from his energy. Although I still think about him sometimes, I know that I'm only missing the memories we had together, not the person. So there's a lot of people who say that this is the bare minimum or this is the bare minimum. To be honest, this guy did, he was a gentleman to me. He opened the door for me, he pays all our meals every time we eat out together. He makes sure that I was safe and okay every time I go to work or come back home. He wouldn't leave until I'm in the house. However, in the beginning of this relationship, I wanted his time and attention and he couldn't really give that to me. When I found myself begging for his time and attention, uh, 
I kind of disliked myself for a minute. I never want to be in that position again, even for a guy. <laughs> it felt awful, okay? Don't be begging for anything. If you ever find yourself in this position, please reflect and reevaluate yourself and your life. We all make mistakes. I made the mistake of ignoring my intuition and not speaking about it sooner. I also think that we don't need extra lectures from others, even if they mean well. I'm not saying that if you continue to be like this and then you still don't listen to the people around you who love and care about you, okay, then that's your fault. But <laughs> let's say you've already know, you realize you kind of disrespect yourself by putting yourself in a situation where it, you know it's not right for you. Then you talk to the people who you thought would not simply judge you, but they do. And they did. <laughs> Just learn how to own your mistake. I did. And I did not regret anything. I do not regret going out with this guy. I did not regret, you know, letting myself date and have fun. And I had fun. <laughs> own your mistake, learn from it, and move on with your life. If you have told someone about your breakup and they say like, See, I told you so. Or they say something like, You did it even though I told you you shouldn't. And why are you crying now? Next time, just... Even if they're right, just... There's no need for it because you're going to start fighting and arguing with these people. So, just... Keep it to yourself. You shouldn't simply tell everyone about your breakup because they will bash the person even without knowing them. And even if this even this guy ghosted me, he did me wrong in a way, I actually spent time with him myself. So there are good things that, you know, I like about him. And many people don't know, and they've never seen. So please don't go in the comments and say, oh, he's an asshole for doing this. Even though he was, don't, don't, just, you don't know the guy. Only I do. Like I said before, this guy made sure that I was okay, that I come home safely, that I am feeling safe with him at the time. He didn't force me to do anything that I was not comfortable with. So those were the good parts about this person. I mean, what can I say? As much as I want to hate someone for doing this or for doing me wrong, I can't simply forget the good side of them either. That's just me. But the point of this video Okay, if you've been through a breakup or you've known someone that has been, is going through a breakup, may this video remind you of your self-worth and to never ignore your intuition or your gut feeling, especially when it comes to people. Do not be ashamed of being open about your love. I was really open about my feelings with this guy, but he couldn't. He even said to me, he's a complicated dude. And that was on me. <laughs> that was on me to know that, oh, I should stop seeing this guy. But I don't want to. I want to keep seeing him. But now it's over. So know your self-worth. Don't be ashamed of being a loving and caring person. I'll see you in my next video. Ciao.